G'day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kenneth Fodder and welcome back to Avon Colony. We're playing this as part of our Colony Month Builder, our Colony Builder Month of September. We're going into space. Um, that's a rather funny meme with Tim Curry playing the, uh, the Soviet commander from Command and Conquer. I think Red Alert, one of the Red Alerts, he's, he's, he's going into space. Um, if I was editing these, then I would insert that here, but I'm not, so... <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. It's, it's, it's around on the internet, all you have to do is Tim Curry space, and you'll find it, and it's great. It's, it's a gas. It's, it's hilarious. Alright, let's focus. Avon Colony, we're doing a sandbox mission in the Valley of Death, because... Why not? I, I've... Turned off my mission objectives, I've turned off referendums, and I've set the minerals to high, so I need something to make this a little bit hard, just to balance that out a touch, because if you... Mission objectives basically guide the game, uh, and referendums, if you lose the referendum, and you're not the leader of the colony anymore, that's the end of the game. So basically the idea for this particular playthrough is, I'm going to build the colony as big as we can, and defend it as best as we can, so we will need to... Not necessarily carefully... No, no, we have to carefully plan this out because this is technically a space colony, and these things are carefully planned, so I'll be relying quite heavily on my Twitch chat uh, to point out various things for me. The link for that is in the description down below if you are on YouTube. Be aware that YouTube has changed the algorithms, and because I have now mentioned Twitch, and it is in my description, it is not going to promote my video. The plural. So, I'm relying on you guys to do that. Spread the word, share with your friends. Hey, this dude has a quite interesting, somewhat semi-British accent. You should come watch him. Heads up, I'm not British, I come from a land down under. But um, yeah, anyway, back into the video, let's go. Avon Colony, uh, oh, I forgot about this. Architect, crap. Um, hmm. These all do different things, yeah. Arcs cost less. 50% as many nanites. Okay, engineer. Hmm. Deductor. Hmm. Drones are kind of important for everything. Let's do this. Alright. <laughs> also, for whatever reason, if you alt tab out of the game, the music stops. And the music stops also during the load screen. All of which, really frustrating. Ooh! Shiny green crystals of doom. Build as you see fit. Oh, absolutely, we will. <laughs> Alright, let's get this stuck in. Alright, oh, that's right, because that space is not that. I've actually got to do things manually. Ooh, that blows. Life support, storage, solar. I think maybe I should have turned... I, maybe I should have turn stuff on. Right, starters, we need to get ourselves an immigration center. It's, there we go. Oh, it is hilariously fun, and I have enjoyed it every single time I've played it. Like, thoroughly enjoyed it every single time I've played it. There we go, so we've got... More storage and one of those. We're going to need to get some food set up very soon. I'm going to go straight to greenhouses, I think. So, unfortunately, they do need to be built in places. And that's okay. It reckons barley. Still no potatoes. Oh, look at that. This is These are all the things we got to build on. Oh, yeah. Uh, broccoli is still rubbish. Corn, not so much. Melons, why would you even bother? Quinoa, okay. And rice. So it looks like... 
we are going to be doing a lot of quinoa. Sounds like fun. Oh boy. And then... We need to get this game running as quickly as we possibly can. Maybe, maybe not that. And possibly only one of you. There we go. Alright. We got people coming in to build or to work the foods. Got some good power there. Uh, no drones in range apparently. It's got some food and some potash. That's fine. Wonder how fast someone will die in this one. Um, not very actually. I'm surprisingly okay at this. So we got a mine, a laser mine, and a nanite processor. Stored food is decaying. Insufficient power. Building not connected. Alright, so we need to get some better power going. There we are. Let's recycle that. Hmm. We need to get stuff out here. Maybe we've done, we've been a little bit hasty with the large one. Indeed, geothermal is steam. Because I need to get a nanite reprocessor. So that I can get that going. And unfortunately I don't have the resources which is kind of poopy. Is that really the closest one? Oof. We got four people there. Wait, how much food do we have stored actually? How badly have I botched this? No metals to process. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, crap. Here we are. We have nine melons, seven nanites, a shitload of quinoa. Let's recycle that. Alrighty then. So close. Howdy, Governor. I'm informed that your colony is undergoing a hydration crisis. I trust you'll secure additional water supplies post haste. I think we have any. So bloody close. Alright, we have done this horribly, haven't we? Alright, we went overboard.
Yep, let's try this again. All stuff is fine. Would have lost that anyway. Launch again with that. Ten minutes in, we're all already doing poorly. All right. So, instead of building storage and expensive power things, we need to figure out a water pump. And the ability to create nanites. And then connect them all. Indeed. Now that that is done, I need a farm tier one with a little bit more quinoa. Hmm, four, five there. There we are. All right. So those are the two that we really need. All right. Hmm. Still insufficient power, which means I'm going to go and build myself wind turbine. And then protection wise, ah no lightning tower, we need an energy battery and one power. Somehow managed to stall that. Right. Should also generate a bit of heat for us. All the power, everything is now back online. And I want to have one of these. Lightning Tower! Now, now it's time to get more people in, when we can. I do need 25 nanites to build that. Um, I guess we could probably build a small drone tower out here. It's a bit close. Yeah, overlapping fields of fire is fine, and by fire I mean overlapping zones of construction, but that should be enough to get us out to here. And actually get that 160 nanites, which will be a nice little boost for us. This is primarily going to be farmland. Uh, we're going to build our housing. This is going to be farming and water collection. Oh yeah, so we're going to pick that up. And that gets us this. Which I think I'm going to put... Hmm... here. 
because I will build myself a habitat out here that should be enough of a decent distance decent distance rather uh, our power is probably going to tank somewhat after this tower let's have a look up to 114 100 of 114 um, and we now have a few more people coming through. Three colonists per trip. We have, let's see, colony overlay. Uh, let's see, 16 of 16 employed. We have 53 jobs. And we have more housing than we have other stuff. All right, I think we should then switch out this to a greenhouse. So that is at 5, let's go 5.5, down to 2.8 in winter, and set that up in there. We'll keep this one active right up until... Uh, winter properly hits. And then... So let's... Deactivate that one. Go into here. Use potash for the bonus. Potentially upgrade that to tier, that's another. Yeah, I don't know. These guys are alright. Is that dropping? No, it's still gaining. Interesting. Oh, you are at tier 2 of 3, and that is also... What is that? The one behind it. Another tier 2 of... This is the best thing about these things is they don't actually require any workers. They just... are. It's good, more people. 22 of 22, that's good. What is that? That's Zorium for power later on. That's another iron deposit, is good. Good, good, good. Um, Alright. And then I think once we hit the cap there, that should be fine. It's an intake fan, but I'm thinking I should probably build just an air filter. Probably out here more than anywhere else. Because these things are dangerous. Particularly because these have a tendency to blow up. That's fine. But we have actually added more jobs as well. So we're now at 64 jobs of 68 housing. We could probably add one more thing. Hmm. No, not that. Requires eight power, and we could probably do that. Ten workers tops. Yeah, let's let's give them some entertainment. That's fine. Too easy. Yep. That's fine. Alright, we have...
provided for our colonists. Farms will not grow crops, greenhouses will grow at a 50% rate, all solar structures will generate less. And I believe we've run out of potash. Potash. Wheat is pretty rubbish. Tar is fine. Calculus spores. Interesting. I mean, of course, most of the alien crops would be fine, obviously, but the ones we actually want to like eat kind of off the bat. And broccoli, kind of. Rice, definitely not. It's probably not even. Yeah, it's probably not even working. We have no potash. That is fine. Storage is almost full. Let's get him some friends. And maybe another... Level 1 nanite processor. No, no, it's a kind of a big deal. We are dropping food. Food is low. So at this time, I believe it may be time to do s another thing of quinoa. Yeah. More quinoa and let us recycle that. Oh, yes. So they'll get that built, and then we can extend the, um... Can we have a better spot for water? Fourteen over there. I know that they can move from building to building. Probably don't want to do that one just yet. There you go, another, another water pump. That's fine. Alright, well we've gone about five minutes over what I wanted the length of this one to be, so uh, I spent most of the beginning part rambling about YouTube stuff, which is unfortunate, but ladies and gents, if you like what you do, then if you like what you see, rather than you know what to do. Again, any bit of interaction that I get is ever so much important to me, and I will try to respond if and where possible. But that is it for me for this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.